So if you're making a game with 3D models, you're probably going to want to animate those models like this. And you're going to want to have more than one animation per model. But how's the best way to get that into your engine? Well, let's go through real quick and say you want to make a new animation. So in this case, I already have a lot of animations here. We're going to make a new one to show you how to do it. So in pose mode, first I clear all my transformations so that we can go back to the normal T pose. You can see I have my auto keying turned on so that whenever I move a bone, it automatically creates a keyframe. And let's just make a simple waving motion. It's not going to be a fancy animation uh, because I'm not going to sit here for an hour and animate this thing. But we have got this uh, really ugly wave. Then we're going to come over here and change from timeline to dope sheet. You can work in the dope sheet as it is. But just in case you weren't on a dope sheet yet, like me, you're going to change to that. And then this drop down menu is going to be the action editor instead of the default, which is dope sheet. That will give you this button, which allows you to push down the animation. And then if you have a second timeline here, a second window, or just in this window, you can change that to being the non-linear animation, which will just stack up all of your different actions. And as you can see, the one we just made is the one right here. You can right click and rename it to, let's just call it wave. And as you can see, I have a strike attack and strike attack stand up, a side hit to the left, a side hit to the right. I've got a lot of animations in this model. Then we're going to come up here to file, export and FBX. We've got a number of options here, starting with including. I tend to only include the visible object. That's because I've got a cube and a sphere and a high resolution version of this boss fight. Uh, and I don't really want to export those because I'm not going to use those in the actual engine. So I only have the armature and the actual usable mesh visible. So that's going to be the only thing that gets exported. Then in the armature, you want to make sure that you only export the deformed bones. If you've got like IK controlling bones or pull targets and stuff like that, you don't need to export those because those don't actually deform the mesh in any way, shape or form. By default, add leaf bones will be turned on. Uh, we're going to turn that off because we don't need those. Then in bake animation, we want to export the NLA strips because we have every single animation on its own strip here. Uh, we don't really need to export all actions because if we do both, it'll export everything twice and that's just going to be confusing. So. We export the NLA strips and not the actions. Make sure though that none of these NLA strips have the star activated because if you have the star activated on one of them, it will only export that strip, which is a really annoying quirk that Blender has. Uh, but that's a troubleshooting thing that you're probably going to run into at some point because I still do as well. Well, then you can give it a name. As you can see, I've tried it out before here. Uh, I call mine uh, tutorial boss example. We just export that FBX. And then over here in Unity, I have a project that I just use for messing about and experimenting uh, with things. So I'm going to just drag that FBX we just made into this project. And as you can see, it now has all of the animations from Blender as separate assets in this FBX. We can go over here through animations and there we can see all of them that we have made including the one we just made which is the wave We've got a little preview down here that we can look at and this general id works for any game engine that you might want to use 3d models in i'll show you unreal as well real quick and here we have a empty unreal project uh there's a little bit of an issue with the armature on the example that I've been using so far. So we're actually going to be using a different model here, uh, but the exporting process was the exact same. So I'm just going to import my player model instead. And this we can all more or less keep the same uh, as it is. You want to make sure that import animations is turned on and then animation length, I tend to uh, choose the animated time uh, so that it automatically cuts off at the start and the end of where the animation is actually moving. 
Uh, exporter time should work fine as well. I like animated time. And then I just import all. And you can see, again, this is my player character instead. Uh, but these are all of the animations that I have in my player character's Blender file. Now, whatever engine you might be using, the process will likely be the exact same, and if not, very similar to one of these two. So, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more quick tips like this. And of course, to keep up with my own game development, because these characters aren't just to show examples. These are actual game assets that I will be using in my own game. So, if you're interested, there's a lot of content about it. And thanks to my patrons, you can see them on screen right now. And a special thank you to my cave digger tier patron, Syntax.